the issue is not what you have, but how you use what you have. And from this point of view, you see, you can have the same uh, competencies and subskills and use them poorly, adequately, or extraordinarily, depending on your self-belief. So for this reason, uh, you can often predict uh, people's accomplishments better from the self-belief rather than from their uh, just past attainments. Hello, Phil. As a drama teacher, uh, you train actors in self-presentational skills mm -hmm. to help them convey an impression to an audience. How does that work? Well, there's a concept we use called status, which has to do with how we manipulate the affect of, uh, of ourself to one another. The content in a given circumstance can be the same, but the way in which I speak to you, the way that I use nonverbal cues, will affect my relationship to you. There are four aspects that we can manipulate in terms of status transactions. The first of these would be eye contact. And it's, it's commonly known that eye contact is a, is a useful device in asserting oneself. As I'm continuing to talk about this uh, subject, start uh, averting your gaze from time to time. Uh, fail to make eye contact with me, uh, but you know, stay in the scene and, and uh, continue to listen, but just change the way in which you relate. Something has shifted in the way nothing else has shifted except that you're not really looking at me. How does it make yeah, you feel when you do that? Disengaged. I mean, we're not... Mm. We're